or concepts that you have to understand about the microscope. Working distance is one. Field of view is another. Parfocal and parcentral. Field of view. How much image are you seeing at each magnification? I made a video about this, covering it using actually my camera here, demonstrating that as you zoom in on an image, the actual amount that you are viewing is a lot smaller than what you originally saw. It's like looking at a field of flowers. That space that you're looking at is huge and then focusing on the one flower. When you focus on the one flower, the amount that you saw was this big when you started, the amount that you see at the end is about that big. So it's really, really teeny tiny. It's not this huge thing. So as you increase your magnification on your microscope, you're actually decreasing the amount that you're seeing. Again, I've got a video that shows you how that works if you're confused about it. Part focal, part central, working distance. Let's go through what that means. Working distance. It's the space between this and this. So the bottom of the objective and the top of my slide. That is working distance. Literally, how much space do I have to move this around to get it to work? Working distance. I do want you to notice one thing real quick. Look at the length of each of these objectives. Here's my lowest magnification at 4x. There's my 10, it's longer. There's my 40, it's even longer. There's my 100, it's the longest out of the four. Now, why do I mention this? It has to do with the par central and par focal concepts. In a perfect world, the concepts of par focal and par central would always work. So what does that mean? Par focal, I'll explain that first, means if I get an object in focus with my lowest objective, where I can move the stage the most and fiddle with things the most, I get it into focus just like that. I can switch to the 10x, the 40x, or the 100x. And when I switch, it's still going to be a perfect focus. It's going to be perfectly clear. We don't live in a perfect world. So it isn't necessarily going to be perfection in the, in the image that I see. But in reality, it's not that far off either. So I'm gonna to switch to the 10X and I want you to pay attention to how much I move this fine focus knob. Switching to the 10X, is it in focus? Eh, not really. So pay attention down here. It's in focus. Did I move it a lot? No. But was it almost in focus? Yeah, it really was which means that I didn't have to go looking for it. I didn't have to move it around a lot. I didn't have to find it from the beginning. Note something else real quick. Look at the distance between this objective and the top of the slide. I just increased magnification and that distance shrunk. Working distance gets smaller the higher magnification you use. Now, let's go to 40. Look at the working distance. Yeah, it's almost non-existent. I'm going to refocus if I have to. So again, not really in focus right now. Pay attention to my fine adjustment here. Done, it's in focus. Again, is it perfect? No, I do have to fiddle with the fine focus a little bit, but it is close enough that I'm not necessarily having to start from the beginning. Par central is 
under the same concept of if I center something at the 4x objective and I switch to the 10x, still going to be centered. If um, I switch to the 40x, it's still going to be centered. Does it always work? So let me go back to 4x. Let me look. Uh, let's see. I have one of the pieces of spiral jar dead center switching. Actually, that is dead center again. Cool. So in that case, yeah, it did work. 40. Not really in the center. So I'm going to move it so that it is. Did you see me move it? Was it a lot? Not really. But I did recenter it. I did put it back in the center of my field of view of the picture that I'm seeing. So with that in mind, you need to, um, again, understand those four things. Field of view. How much space are you seeing when you're at the lowest magnification versus at the highest magnification? How big of the picture are you seeing? Two, working distance. How far away is the bottom of the objective from the top of your slide? When you change magnifications, how much does that distance change? Does it get closer? Does it get further away? Three and four, par focal and par central. The idea that if I get it in focus at the lowest objective, I can switch to all the other objectives and it'll still be in focus. The idea, par central, that if I get an item centered in my lowest objective and I move all the way up to the highest objective, it's still centered. We don't live in a perfect world, so it isn't perfection necessarily, but it is very close. And that saves, as scientists, a lot of time. Having the ability to kind of preset position so that you're very close and all you have to do is fiddle with it just a tad makes it a lot easier for you in the long run.